Jerry's Camping Center showing you the Helio O2. So we're going to take a step inside. So the first thing you're going to see is the sink. Currently the trailer is winterized. We have videos on how to dewinterize your trailer. Go, go to Jerry's Camping Center YouTube and look up dewinterizing videos or give us a call when you come to that point. Super easy to do, um, but right now there's RV antifreeze in there. This is your bathroom here in the back. There's a toilet. You do want to make sure you use the RV chemicals in there, paper, and drop-in pockets. This also has an indoor shower, but again, currently everything is winterized. Damn heck. Hi. Welcome back to our Helio walkthrough. Up here is a monitoring panel, which will give you the black, the gray, the fresh water, how full those are. And then over here, it'll tell you how the battery is. The battery will always read charged up here on the top when you're plugged in. So to get a true battery reading, make sure the trailer is unplugged. Your water pump works two, water system works two ways. One is if you're hooked to a garden hose, it works off city pressure, or you fill up the fresh water tank, use your water pump, and it'll bring water into the system. That'll work for your sink, your shower, um, for that. Uh, your refrigerator, uh, it's an automatic refrigerator temperature. So if you push that to on, it'll go, you can push it to auto, which will run off electric first, and then it'll switch over to gas if the electric is interrupted. You do need battery power to run the circuit board, so you do have to have battery power, even though it's not running on battery, but you need that to make it work. If it's not working on either system, the check light will come on and say, hey, I'm not working. So to open the refrigerator, you push up on this button here. So that door will open. Gives you a freezer section up here on the top. That always cools first before the refrigerator does. And then down here on the bottom is the temperature slide. The higher that piece slides up, the colder the fridge is. All right, this is your air conditioner inside the owner's pack. It'll be a remote control for you to use it, but you can also manually turn it on and off. Um, here, you do want to make sure that you pull it out um, from the wall. There's a little cord here for traveling to lock it into place. Um, you do need to be plugged in for that to work. All right, over here, this is your power box. This is where the fuses and circuit breakers are. These are for electrical here. This is for your 12 volt on this side. It also has a heat fan on there. If it ever starts up, it's just letting it know it's helping to cool down the electronics and the circuitry. This is the button that lets you know if you're working on electric or battery. You can switch it up for um, electric down from the battery. This is your furnace control up here on the top. There's a little switch. It only goes a little bit, but it's a hard click that's on that. So make sure that you hear the click, otherwise it's not on. This is your temperature. The more to the right, the hotter the temperature will be on the inside. Works out very well. Again, you do have to have power to run the blower fan, uh, either battery or electric. Heat is generated off the propane. Your, your lights are just a little push button in the center. Make this into a bed. There's a little cutout here. That's where the table will fit into. And then you have mattresses on the back that slide over the top. And this cushion here are your blackout shades for the windows. Those get tucked down there. And then your power fan is here. So you do have to pull. This opens and closes. You crank that like so to open it. And then you have a button over here for on and off which will turn on the fan. And again, all the stuff we're going on will be in the owner's book on the inside. So if you have questions, please reference that or give us a call at Jerry's Camping Center or send us an email, jerryscampingcenter at gmail.com. Stove, super easy to work. You just have a sparker here. Oh, I always start running the sparker first and then I'll turn on the burner so it goes. Do not turn on the gas first and then hit the burner. So I always turn on the burner. And then also make sure that you do not cook on the glass surface on the top. There you go. All right, this is accessing your gas tank and battery. There's a lever here you pull. This will come down. This gives you access to your propane tank and also your battery. 
Your battery has a little fuse link on it. There's two wires that go to the positive, two wires that go to the negative. If you ever do remove your battery, make sure you take a picture of those so you know which wires to hook back up to what. Full propane tank, uh, um, I usually shut that off while I'm in transit. And then this comes back. You wanna make sure you pull this forward, lock that into place. Also up here, this is your emergency breakaway cable. That'll hook onto the tow vehicle. So if you did become uncoupled, it'll lock on the brakes using the battery on the inside. All right, on the outside, you have an outside electrical outlet. This is exhaust from your furnace. Uh, this is access to underneath the bed on the inside. That's where all the owner's books and keys and stuff is in. They also have on this one uh, stabilizing jacks. There's a handle in there. Those crank down. Uh, those are stabilizers. They're not levelers. There are many ways to level the trailer, but do not use your jacks in the bed. All right, on the back here, this is where you're going to put in the water to the fresh reserve tank. This is where you hook a hose to it. This is if you're going to use the pump switch on the inside. This is where you're going to uh, hook in the city water. City water does not fill the reserve tank. This is your water heater. Um, lights like a water heater at your house. There is no pilot or no automatic lighting. You do have to light it manually on this one. This is where your power code goes in. It's a 30 amp cord. Uh, exhaust from the air conditioner. Uh, service port for the refrigerator up and down. Um, and uh, uh, this is the vent for the trailer. Again, as you use this, always feel free to call Jerry's Camping Center or email us at jerryscampingcenter at gmail.com.